Hello, this is High Templar. Welcome to my Total War Warhammer news video. And we have a new post on the Total War blog, and this is on early adopter bonuses and post launch support. And this is quite an interesting entry in a blog. This image itself look like a confirmation that as a DLC for Warhammer 1 we will be getting Norsemen, a new race, and it will be pre-order bonus for Warhammer 2. I mean, this skin and fur looks Norseman to me. Now, this blog entry is actually not as much on what the early adopter bonus will be, but mostly on what they are working on and this, like I said, is quite interesting. Firstly, they are saying that in the next 12 months they will release more history dar fantasy titles. And this is interesting, but it can be interpreted in multiple ways. They can say that they will be releasing Warhammer 2, but also one historical fantasy for Saga and one historical DLC, probably for Rome 2. That would mean two titles historical, one title fantasy. But on the same hand, they will be releasing early adopter bonus, which also is fantasy and is DLC. And they will be releasing some DLCs for Warhammer 2 because they have to. In the next 12 months, that would be obvious. There is lots of time and they and they have to release at least two or three DLCs for Warhammer 2. Which makes me think that maybe this will not really be the case. I do not believe we will get a standalone new historical title in the next 12 months. That would be just too much, that would be Warhammer and Warhammer DLCs and Saga and standalone ti title. It would be a bit weird if Creative Assembly would be able to do that. Okay, what actually they are saying about uh, the you know, in this post is they are talking about the changes in their DLC policies. And there are quite interesting ones. Firstly, they did uh, said that Chaos Warriors was not a cut content from the original game, but they do understand that people were not really happy about it. And they will strive to make pre-order bonuses something different. They also, they also saying that something very interesting that most people didn't really like mini campaigns. So what they want to do is instead put some more, put more legendary lords and more units in the DLC, like we've seen with Grim and Grey, for example, instead of uh, creating a new campaign. This is interesting because they are explicitly saying that would be going up to four legendary lords because so far only campaign DLCs were for new races, Beastmen and Wood Elves, which would imply the new races would be a lot less common in the Warhammer 2. Not really surprising. As I've mentioned in my speculation videos, it would be hard to actually find any. Now, the other thing is they are actually describing early adopted race pack for this one. And they are saying it is somewhat similar to Bretonia, more similar to Bretonia than Chaos Warriors. There will be legendary lords with unique start positions and factions, lots of new units, plus unique uh, flavor and strongly deficient rate mechanics. If those guys really will, will be Nords, that would be mean a lot of new units for Nords and probably only for Nords, not a Chaos Warriors. Interesting, interesting indeed. Although we might get some, we will be also getting free LC with that DLC. So we'll have to wait and see that might be something for Chaos Warriors indeed. And this is written here. Okay, so... Like I said, 
and this is on the DLCs for Warhammer 2, I already explained what that means. They do not want to make Call of the Beastmen and Realm of the Wolves campaign packs, but rather more lords, more, uh, more, more units and more, um, more ways to replay those races, and this will work both in the uh, Vortex map and in the combined map for the Warhammer 1, which means yeah, I mean like four lords for high elves and four lords for Skaven and oh, that is amazing. That is really amazing. I must say I do like to have two legendary lords in one faction. I did like it with vampire counts. I did like it with uh, greenskins. Although in greenskins it made the least sense, but for example you can have those in um, Empire, you can have those in Chaos Warriors, and that was cool. That was really cool. But four factions doesn't sound bad as well. So yeah, this is it on the news. Thank you for watching, hope you like it. If you did, press like, comment if you will, and see my other videos. See you later.